you know when something doesn't feel right. So just knowing that and not stopping at no, um, I'm just glad I did. I'm just really glad I did. I have two kids. Our daughter's name is Zion and our son's name is Zeus. My second pregnancy with Zeus, um, we didn't know what we were having, but we were excited. We were going to wait until delivery to find out. My goal was to have a VBAC, which is a vaginal birth at the cesarean. My water broke on the 19th um, on a Sunday, and I, he didn't come until the 21st. Um, yes, the 21st at 4.41 a.m. After I delivered my son um, is when the complications happened. I was having, um, the first day was fine. I was up walking. He had to go to the NICU. Um, I would walk over to nurse him every two hours. Um, it was fine. I was good. Everybody thought, oh, you know, you're, you're doing really well. Um, day two, I started to get the soreness started to kick in and I started to have some pains. Um, by the end of day two, the pain got a little worse, but by day three, it just didn't feel right. I asked the nurses, explained my symptoms and that I was having crazy pains and they assured me that it was just gas. I felt like I don't think that this is normal. Um, I don't think that I should be feeling like this, you know, this long. And um, I mean, after, and after taking all of the medications that they're giving me, um, you name it, gas X, suppositories, pain medicine, morphine, and I'm still having these pains, there can't, this can't be gas. I'm convinced. I started to have crazy discharge, um, very odorous, and I immediately went to the emergency room. So I went to a different hospital and they found an 11 centimeter abscess on my uterus and the, they said that had I not come in, it could have been a, could have easily been a there's nothing we could do situation. Had it gotten into my bloodstream, you know, it could have been uncontainable. My son was 18 days old and for 13 days I had been away from him. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad I didn't stop at no, and I'm glad someone finally heard me, someone finally listened to me and, you know, didn't just take the generic, it's just gas answer. So even if those around you aren't um, listening or they're trying to pacify what you're feeling and telling you this is just normal, trust your gut and know that it's not normal if you don't feel it's normal. And tests may come out, you know, to say that it's perfectly fine, but you'd rather err on the safe side and know that you're okay. I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be um, the mother of two beautiful and happy babies and healthy babies. Um, I advocate for myself, and now I, I advocate for them. Um, so it's very important that I was able to speak up and be heard. Hear her.